Welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talis for Learnings and in this video we'll talk about polymorphism. Now when you see, you know, when you, in, in Java, we, uh, Java, everything in Java is an object, right? So when you talk about object, we have classes and then we have all this oops concept, right? We have encapsulation, we have inheritance, so we have talked about all the stuff, right? We have talked about class, we have talked about object, we have talked about inheritance, we have talked about encapsulation. In this video we'll talk about polymorphism. Now when you say polymorphism, what it means? So, so, the, uh, so let's break down this term. So we have poly as one word, and then we have morphism as a second word, or you can say morph, that's the second word, right? So when you say poly, so the meaning of this poly is many. So when you say many, so many, 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 many morph. Many morph? So this morph will be called as behavior. Okay, so this is behavior. So now when I say many, Polymorphism, it is many behavior, right? So it is something that it, you have one thing and it, it, it has multiple behaviors. Example, uh, you know, you have one device which can do multiple stuff different upon uh, if you pass different parameters. Example, uh, what, 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 what could be the example here? Uh, example, humans, Let, let's say we are, if, if, if we are humans, you know, we have different behavior in depend upon different situations, right? So when you're going for a party, you have a different behavior. When you go to your office, you have a different behavior. When you talk to your crush, you have a different behavior. When you talk to your parents, you have a different behavior, right? So we behave differently at different situations. So we have multiple forms, or we have multiple behaviors, right? It's just we are same thing, but by passing different parameters, we become different, right? So what we have here is, so we have this something as many behavior, that is many forms, right? Now, let's imagine uh, we have a class which is A. Again, I'm going for my typical class example, class A. So this is my class, class A. And in this class, I have a method which is show. So I have a method which is show. That's how you define a method, right? So we say public void, and then we say show. Now it has some statement, right? So let's say it has some statement here. Now, in order to call this show, what we need, we require a main function, right? So on this side, we'll be having a main function. And in this main function, you will write, you will call this show. Now, how to call this show? The only way or the, the way we call a method in Java is by creating object, right? So you have to say A, OBJ. Again, now you know how to create object. So we can say simply new A, that's the constructor there. And now we can call OBJ dot show, right? So that's how you call it. So now we have one method, and then we are trying to call that method with the help of an object, and then it, it, it is getting called. But let's say uh, we have one more method here. So we have one more method, which is public, void, and then we have show. Now this show takes a different parameter. Now this show takes, okay, now can, can we have, let, let's say we don't have any parameter. Can we have two methods with the same name uh, in same class? And the answer is no, because there will be a confusion now if, we, if you call show, which one to call, because these are two different methods, right? So this is doing something else. So let's say this is ta doing task one, and this is, doing, this is doing task two. Now there are two different tasks, right? There are two different methods. So there will be a confusion that which one to call. So what we can do is, these two methods will be different depending upon their parameters, right? So we can pass a parameter here, we can say int i, so that's the parameter we have here, which is int i, right? So if I pass a value here, so if I pass 5, now since I'm passing a parameter, it will call this method here, which is public void show, which takes an int parameter, and it will do this task, because we are passing a parameter here. We are passing 5, right? Now if you don't pass anything, if you just give it blank, it will call the first method. You can have multiple methods. You can have one more method here, which is public void show, which takes two different parameters. Let's say it takes float parameter. So we have one more show, and it takes float, okay? Now the count is same. So it takes only one parameter. Even this method takes one parameter, but they're different. So it's not just the number of parameters, also the type of parameters, right? So if you have multiple methods with, this, with the same name, but different parameters, this will be called as overloading of methods, right? So this concept will be called as method overloading, right? Now then we have one more concept. So this is method overloading, which is 
one the same method name but different parameters okay different types of parameters different number of parameters but it should be different right so that's method overloading now let me remove all this stuff and then we let let's skip it this way let's say we have just one method here which is show and now i have one more method which is one more class which is b okay so we have class a and we have class b and this class b extends class A. So this is extend. So B class B extends class A. Mm. Now what happens is whenever you extend a class and whenever you uh, so this method will be will be coming here, right? So if I say if I if I don't create object of A now, if I create object of B, now I can so if I say obj dot show, this show so this show is not here, right? It is not inside B. So it will be called from the method which is which is class A, right? But let's say if I define this method here, if I say public void show, now if I have, see, I have the same method, right? With the same method signature, no parameters. So those, these two are same, but they belong to different classes, right? And they are linked with inheritance. So now if I call show, this will be calling the second show. It will call the second show, not the first one, okay? Because this show now overrides. So this overrides this method and the concept is called as method overriding now let me give an example you know i'm giving this example from last four to five years now so let me repeat my example in this video let's say uh, in inside when i was in my 10th standard it was year 2005 uh, yeah it was year 2005 at that time you know some of my friends they were having a mobile phone right and then you know they used to tease me i have a mobile phone do you have a mobile phone and they were having these fancy mobile phones of Nokia, which is Nokia double six, uh, double six, uh, what the number, mobile number. You remember that first smartphone, double six, double zero? Yeah, double six, double zero. They were having that phone. And when they used to ask me which phone I have, I was not having any phone for at that time, but my father has a phone, right? So uh, I, to, I, used to told, I used to tell them that I have uh, Nokia double, uh, double three one zero. That's the hammer phone, if you know. So that's the phone my father had. So I used to say I have that phone because everything which belongs to my father belongs to me, right? Because uh, if my father's own, uh, my, if, my, if my dad owns a phone, I have, I have that phone, right? Because that's inheritance. But after four years, when I bought my first phone, uh, I guess in, yeah, in my second year of my graduation, when I bought my own phone, uh, at that time, if people used to ask me which phone, and, hey, oh, hold on, I, I bought after two years. So when I, I bought Nokia C, one eight no Motorola so it's not no okay it's Motorola C one eight and then at that time people used to ask me which phone you have I used to say I have Motorola right why because my phone has overrided my father's phone because my father's phone is my phone but my phone is my phone right my my phone is not my father's phone right so I have two phones now one my father's phone and then one is my mm -hmm. phone but my phone overrides my father's phone so if people is asking me which phone I have. I have Motorola C18. Okay, so that's how uh, that's the concept of overriding. So when you talk about polymorphism, we have two concepts. One is overloading, and the second one is overriding. So let me go for a quick recap. So when you say you have two methods with the same name but different parameters, that's overloading. When you have two methods with the same name, same parameters, but do two different classes. It will be called as overriding. So, so that's it from this video. This is all about polymorphism. If you have any questions, any doubts, you can post in the comment section. And uh, if you have any questions regarding to your career, you can you know, every Sunday we'll be having QA session where you can ask me some questions live. Okay, it will be a live session. You can connect me live, or you can ask your questions. I will try to answer those questions. So that's it. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching, and do subscribe for for the videos.